Microsoft released this Vibe voice model few days back and it was an instant hit. But then weird things started happening. First Microsoft deleted this GitHub repo where all the code was and then they also removed the large version of this Vibe voice model. But thankfully that model is now available at Modelscope which is a website by our Chinese friends and you can download it from there as is but of course you would have to take care of whatever licensing requirements are. In this video we are going to install the 1.5 billion version the vibe voice though the repo is gone but I will also be sharing you all the code which I am going to use in the video's description. The only request which I make and that is optional don't feel compelled you will still get the code is to become a member of the channel as that helps a lot and it helps me keep going with the channel. Having said that this vibe voice model I think Microsoft did a wonderful job in terms of its architecture and everything around the training. This model is quite good for long form uh, TTS with multi speakers. Also, it is quite good in scalability, speaker consistency and natural turn taking. And we already saw when we covered this model in this video around nine days ago. If you're looking for a thorough architecture review, what exactly this model can do, just check out this video. I am sure you are going to enjoy this. So let's get started with the installation of this vibe voice. First up, I'm going to show you my configuration. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very good price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPU. So please do check them out. First up, all you need to do is to install free uh, few prerequisites and I'm going to install torch transformers and all of this stuff make sure you use the exact same versions and as it installs let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom AI workforce so we have all the prerequisites installed and this is the code which I'm going to use. So if you can see here, this code downloads um, the model. This code also git clone the repo. This repo is gone, but I will be giving you um, another link which you can use in order to get the code and then so on and so forth. This uh, model is simply a wrapper on top of your um, model and interface just a gradio demo that's about it and you will get the code um, from the link in the video's description okay so that is all we needed to do let me take you back to my terminal and then we are going to run this python app.py from our local system and the first time when you run this, this downloads a model and now you can see that it is running on our local host at port 7860. Let's open it in the browser. So I'm just going to run it here. And the model is now loaded and we can select the voices from the left and I know it's a very basic sort of uh, interface, but I just patched it together very quickly. We have number of speakers too. We can increase them. And it's the same thing which we tested in this video. So I'm not going to do thorough testing for that. We You can already you know, check my other video. But for this video, um, let me run a very simple message and I will also show you the VRAM consumption. So this is the model which is at the moment loaded. Just touch over 6 gig. But as I said, you can run it on CPU too. It will be very slow. Um, but for simple tasks, you can do this. So you've just sent a message that this is a fleeting feeling, but contentment stays. You see, and if I check the VRAM consumption, it's just um, hovering around the same sort of um, VRAM. Okay, so that is cool. Let's try out one more. And as we saw in another video, you can also have multiple speakers with emotions and all that stuff. For example, you can just specify speaker 0, speaker 1 with some of the sentences. Let's run this. It is going to generate. Let's check the VRAM consumption. It is staying the same. It is quite fast too. It uh, doesn't take too long. Let's wait for it to come back. Okay, 
I'm playing it. I think I need to select the speaker properly. I just had to remove the spaces and now it has generated it. Let's run. Welcome to our Fawad's channel. Please like, subscribe and become a member. Thanks for having me. Yes, I cannot wait to become a member. Such a gift. You see the emotion in the last sentence. It was quite good. You guys don't listen to me, but at least listen to them and become a member. And next up, I am checking the background music and maybe a bit of a singing. And you can see that we have again multiple speakers with multi dialogue. I already have generated the audio. Let me play it. Hopefully it is also going to show us a bit of its singing skills. Hey, remember see you again? Yeah. From Furious 7, right? That song always hits deep. Let me try to sing a part of it for you. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Wow. That line. Every time. Yeah. And then this part always makes me think of the people I've lost. We've come a long way. So you see, it just converts in, into a whisper and uh, there is a bit of a noise, but I didn't want to edit anything or, you know, change anything. I just wanted to show you as is. I think the large model is quite, quite good, which is still in preview, which Microsoft has deleted. This 1.5 billion is also okay, but I think it is not that expressive or emotion filled. So hopefully Microsoft is going to release that one also. Just wanted to quickly show you this diagram. So this model, as I said earlier, uh, maintains speaker consistency and natural turn taking, but I haven't seen that happening in 1.5. But the video where we checked the other one, the large one and the actual one, hosted one, it does it quite nicely. Makes few mistakes, but I think Microsoft is going to fix it. And I think uh, there might be some quality issues or some other things going on uh, why Microsoft deleted that model. But I think that, well, that doesn't look like a good thing on Microsoft's part where you release a model and then you just delete the repo that had also, you know, just remove the model. Anyway, uh, so if you look here, Vibevoice is using a next token diffusion framework using a large language model, the Quen, to understand textual context and dialogue flow and a diffusion head to generate high fid fidelity icostic details. The model can synthesize speech up to 90 minutes long with up to four distinct speakers, which is quite good. Hopefully Microsoft is going to pick up their game. Again, please like the video and subscribe uh, and please consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.